Welcome back, viewers, to another episode of Lucky Lucker. We left off last time, in the middle of a war, we just betrayed our long-standing ally, Milan, and we kind of sold him out to the French. Which, let's be honest, we don't want to find the French. Let me just show you how scary the French are. The French, oh, that's nice, they're at the very top. Well, pretty much. They have 72,889 troops. Yikes, we are not facing that. I mean, I guess between uh, Papal Stay and Milan, they have roughly, uh, what is this, 43,000? If you add my troops on, where's my army? Do I even have an army? I'm 8k. Is that my entire army? That's kind of sad if that's my entire army. No, I have not 11k here. Goody. Uh, so the point is, you add these two together, that's only 19,000. We only have just barely enough to possibly match the French. And then you have to take into account the French ideas, specifically uh, Elan, which is the third item down there, Rare of Armies plus 20%. That's what makes the French so terrifying in the early game. Uh, so we do not want to find the French as we betrayed Milan. And that is it. Now I still have to consider, do I want to see enough? Because this is terrifying. I cannot afford to have the French on my back. That's a definite no-no. So. Can I improve with them enough to not have them get on my back? I'm going to keep improving with the French. If we can avoid having Austria and the French on our backs, uh, then things won't be too bad. Otherwise, I'm going to wait till the start of the year. If I can't get aggressive expansion low enough, I'm simply going to abandon Saina because I think I got the most valuable thing I could have gotten out of this war, which is Genoa itself. A 26 development province and a center of trade on the Genoa node which has given me, or is giving me, 26% um, now. Aragon has a rather crazy amount of trade power here. The only thing I can really do about that is if uh, these two break up and French starts fighting Aragon, in which case I'll probably jump on it and attack Aragon as well. But that's not going to happen anytime too soon. Not one of the French are attacking my ally. And speaking of my ally, I need allies, because I lost Milan. Is there anyone who might be willing to be my ally after this war? Nope. No one's even close. I mean, ignoring the negative 1000 because I'm at war, um, the closest is a negative 24. So yeah, that's not a good sign. So our only ally after this war is going to be, well, currently really, the Papal State and Bavaria. More reason to avoid a coalition at all costs. And I need to make sure the French don't try to kill me because that would be very bad. I mean, the whole point of not joining the war is that I have one province the French could have taken. And I guess uh, Savoy, who were the actual people declaring on Milan, could have taken my hard-earned Genoa and Lucca and Pisa if we lost, which we would have definitely lost. Uh, unless Milan had more friends, but they did not. I was the only friend along Papal State. Uh, okay, so let's just go towards the end of the year and we'll see how it goes. Uh, that's nice. Here's one way I can try re reduce aggressive expansion. I believe I've already taken this, haven't I? Yep, just by wars. Uh, so there's not much I can do in that regard. Ooh, I'm actually at four Sendo trades already. <laughs> One is one more. Which would be literally impossible unless I can attack Naples. I want to attack Naples. I want to just land down here, but it's not going to happen. What would be perfect is if Castile ends up integrating all of Naples and then I can somehow be able to beat Castile. I can then take all of Naples for myself um, by basically taking one province, releasing the subject, of Naples and then do a massive reconquest. Uh, but I don't know, I'm just talking about things right now which obviously aren't going to happen anytime soon, so let's just unpause. We're going towards the end of the year. Currently, my work exhaustion is, is negligible, so it's fine. I think I bought it down if I remember right. Of course, last time I played was a week ago, as always. Uh, let's recall you. Oh, uh, we had a naval battle somewhere. Oh, that's nice. They still have fleets, do they? Who's still in this? Friesland's still in this. Okay, Friesland. Oh, thanks, Bavaria. You really are the best, you know that? Okay, let's get some money out of you. I get 12 ducats out of this. Yay. Uh, give me that. And... Anything else I want to do here? I can try to get my prestige to be positive. That will help as well. So that would take... Well, that would give me a decent chunk of prestige. Still not positive, though. How's that? 14 prestige, still not positive. I don't want you to, it'll be kind of crude to have you die, but, oh wow, Pomerania's really growing here. Uh, I'll just get rid of your 
military access with Savoy and military access with France. There. Gives me 40 prestige total. I don't want to get rid of your alliances. I don't mind you living. It's fine. I don't care. Okay, so 40 prestige. We only get 5.3 out of that. I. That's not great. If we have post prestige, aggressive expansion won't be nearly as bad. Uh, if I can show it to you somehow, uh, I think over here. Uh, see the last one? Aggressive expansion impact plus 1.8. That's obviously not great. Do we have a better relation over time? Yes, we do. Improve relations. We're paying him a ton of money, which is not great, but can't be helped. Austria is now a positive opinion. What I could now do. Slamson is probably embargoing me. Thanks, Slamson. You're the best. Oh, by the way, I should mention, we are now on patch 1.21, uh, which is also known as Hungary. And you may notice a few holes in the map. This is Belgrade. Uh, this, I can't remember what provinces added here. There's a bunch of provinces added here as well. So basically, they've become like pseudo wastelands. As in, um, you can't colonize them, but uh, you can still walk across them. It's a little weird. They're basically 000 and de development provinces, which are owned by nobody. And like I said, you can't colonize them. Uh, so, yeah. It doesn't really concern us because we don't have to own any of the Baltics uh, or any of the, the Carpathian or any of the East German Polish area, so it's fine. It uh, doesn't really affect our achievement, but it's just something interesting. And it shouldn't actually affect achievement at all, because you see here, this is still here, and lucky lucky I should still be on this list. I'd be very surprised if it's not. Let's double check that, because that would really suck. Yep, it's wrong here. So, I just need to own luck now. How hard can that be? Ooh, po Good luck, Papal State. You're going to need it. Expand a bodyguard. Okay, well, we're going to have to gain Republican tradition, naturally. That is cool. There's a peace offer from Sina. Decline. We need to wait for a new year before I can even consider doing anything. And... Ooh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. A government for... Oh, that's right, of course. Of course, because we're not a freaking monarchy. There really is a big advantage of monarchies in that you can get relationships so much easier by being allowed to a royal marriage, uh, marry into other countries. And that would give a huge boost to opinion as well. Like 20 or 30 or something like that. It's crazy. Oh well. Uh, I guess we should, could also prepare for war on other fronts, like... Attacking Clemson? Not gonna happen. Attacking Mamluks? I already have the claims. Uh, I can start building more claims on these lands from Tunis, but I mean, these are just three developed provinces. I don't really care if I have to take them without a claim. It's won't cost us too much. Okay, it's a new year. Let's see how the aggressive expansion looks. Okay, so Milan won't like me. I could sit on another year of war exhaustion. I mean, this is plus 0 0.8. A year of this is only 0 0.8. Not too much. We can keep sitting on this, as crazy as may sound. Uh, Savoy, minus 32. Yeah, they don't want to be my ally at all. I mean... And Austria doesn't even want to consider me, naturally. I just need at least one semi-big player. I don't need a big player to ally me. Just, you know, one, someone who's big enough to um, at least deter. They don't have to actually help me in fights. As long as they can deter the enemy away. That's kind of more important. Okay, we're going to start on another year of war exhaustion. Uh, it'll be fine. We can take it. Um, Sunni Zealous is not nice, but we can take that. I wanted to write up insert. Um, are we converting right now? We should be converting. Very slowly. Where's cert? Cert. Okay, cert over there. I don't know why they want to write up over there. Okay, you guys go over there. Stamp down that, on that rebellion. And we'll keep sitting on this. And Venice really doesn't like us. <laughs> Their rulers excommunicated. I love that. But France is more than happy to jump in on that action. I'm going to. Okay, let's have a look at our list again. Uh, who do I think I can knock off that list? Okay, I can try knock off Milan, but let's ignore Milan for now. I'm looking at. Okay, I'm not going to be able to knock off Genoa. Sina won't exist. Tunis, I won't be able to get rid of. France is off the list, so that's kind of important. I just need Savoy off the list. 
Get, get Savoy off the list and Austria off the list. That'd be perfect. Austria. Improve relations. We can still improve quite a bit more. Okay, well, I'm going to see if I can get Savoy off the list. Uh, do I even think I can get Venice off the list? Venice. Probably not. Let's stop improving Venice. And let's do this manually. Because if I want to avoid collision here, I have to be very selective. Um, if I wait one year, Milan won't be on the list anymore, so that's fine. Uh, let's get Switzerland off the list. Switzerland is actually not a small player. So basically, getting all the big guys off the list will do uh, us wonders. Oh, we already maxed for Savoy, huh? Ooh, Janelle got declared upon by Muscovy of all people? Huh, I guess uh, Muscovy wants. Uh, what's this called? Azov. Funny enough, in reality, Azov didn't come to the hands of the Russians until like the 1700s when they had to fight the Turks for it because uh, historically this entire area was owned by the Crimea Incarnate for the longest time and the Ottomans weren't actually willing to uh, give that up because the Crimea Incarnate was effectively a vassal of the Ottomans. But just regarding that, the Muscovites are going to get uh, their warm water port way before they in history at least. Okay, we're, we're free diplomat. Um, let's have a look again. Savoy. Savoy is at negative 69. They're not going to go away naturally anytime soon. I can't get Savoy off the list. Savoy is actually a very big player. I mean, I can sit on this war for two more years, I guess, but is that a good idea? I mean, at some point, these two will separate piece out. Which is fine, I guess, but... I don't think it's worth sitting around this long. I can always come back for you. So how about Saina? Get rid of your alliance with Venice. End your rivalry with me. Are you my rival? You're not my rival. Hmm, that's unfortunate because I could do with a humiliate. Uh, pay me war reps. Give me all your cash, which you, which you have a lot of, apparently. I get 228 of that. That's pretty good. And I think let's set a peace for a while. I think that'll be good. I don't see myself taking this without triggering a coalition I simply cannot deal with. And we'll come back for you later. You won't be able to get an alliance with Venice anytime soon. Uh, so this won't be too bad. The problem is you might join a trade league. In fact, you are in a trade league with Venice. Which is what made this semi-painful in the first place, but... Can I try to change that? Like, what if I tell you to transfer trade power? This means they won't be in a trade league with Venice. Give me your money. Uh, know your alliance. And there. Oh, I can't take all your cash anymore. Okay, still know your alliance. And just give me as much cash as I'm allowed to take. That's decent enough. So I take your cash. I force you out of, out of Venice's trade league. And you pay me war reps. Uh, once the truce is over, you won't be able to cancel that, so you won't be able to rejoin uh, this trade league by Venice. In fact, I don't think you can join any trade leagues while we have the trade a transfer trade power agreement on, so I'll simply come back for you later. And this way I'll get no aggressive expansion. Everlasting victory. The conquest of Syena, where I did not conquer Syena, instead I took Genoa. Yeah, yes, that totally makes sense. Okay, now we have to desperately look around for allies. I uh, mean desperately. I don't care who it is, but we need allies. Hungary is a neighbor 26. Hungary. Hungary. Enemy of enemy. We both hate Venice. Be my friend. Uh, Switzerland. I don't care about you anymore. Although Switzerland, would you be my ally? Negative 41. Not gonna happen. But Hungary, I haven't really improved with you much. I can see a possibility here. If I improve with you to a max, possibly bribe you a little bit, I might be able to get you as an ally. Of course, that might pull me into wars against the Ottomans, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, if I only I could get an alliance with Austria, it'd be perfect, but I can't. Or maybe an alliance with Castile, even. But no, I'm way too small for them to even consider me. Um, okay. Mom looks getting wasted by Mercuria. Actually, Queen of Justice are winning. From 11 battles plus 17, so that's promising for the Mamluks. If I were to declare now on the Mamluks, nobody would join. I, could, I just need to cancel military access. How strong is the Mamlukian army? Mamluks. 36,000. 
we have what is this? 11 and 8. That's 19. So Mamluks have way bigger army than us. But we can get 20k troops. Um, and right now Mamluks are being distracted. That said, is it worth it? Probably not. It's probably better to wait for the Ottomans to do something first. Then again, can we threaten you for a province? No, we can't. I would love to have take this province, like a South Africa on this stuff here. Uh, I mean, I guess I don't want much. Okay, most of the Mamlukian army is here. There's a Bukurian army over there. Who the heck are you fighting other than Bukuria? Ethiopia and Medribari. Okay, kids. Oh, I can't see any of them, so I don't know how big the armies are. I can't find out any shape or form, I think. Oh, well, uh, our... Tunis is Tunis almost up, so let's just look at Tunis. Um, I'm going to get this army down here and we'll attack Tunis as soon as possible. They don't have any allies at all. What's our boats? I have four galleys here, and I have four cogs there, and I have galley of one cog here. Very weird fleet. Uh, let's actually have you guys split up. Oh, whoops. Okay, the transport. You can go dock yourself over there. I'm going to have... How big is the Tunisian fleet? I think that's it. Pretty pathetic, really. So we can take our Tunisian fleet easy enough. You guys come out. Oh, by the way, there's a new change as well to do with sailors. So now, if you look at this, it says currently you gain 30 each month and use 17 sailors on missions. So basically, every single boat that's not docked uses uh, sailors every single month, kind of like a maintenance. Uh, so you can't just keep building boats way beyond your force limit anymore. You pretty much have to stick to at or just below your force limit uh, if you don't want to run out of sailors. So they actually try to make sailors something more important because... I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but sailors are kind of worthless uh, before. It's still uh, a ways to be seen whether or not sailors are still kind of redundant, but it's certainly a, I guess, a step in the direction of making them more useful. I mean, for all I know, it might just make it really annoying to deal with, but whatever. That's just a new change in 1.21. Uh, so we have a fleet here. Ideally, I want to dock them up. Well, I'm not using them. We don't have any admirals, as I thought. Uh, so this fleet can simply stay here and just need the army to get together. Age of Discovery is ending 54 months. I could start going to era, but I'm not going to. I'll wait for the next one. Yeah, I'm not going to. Lithuania declared war on Moldavia. Moldav Wait, what? Why is Moldavia free? Uh, are you two still allies? Yes, you guys are. And Poland's sli looking slightly healthier now. Huh. I s I'm still really shocked that, I'm pretty sure last time I looked, uh, the Teutons actually won their war against Poland, which makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. I mean, Teutons aren't weak, but at the same time, it's like that. And I guess that versus this. That's crazy. Okay, uh, alliances, alliances. Still no alliances forthcoming, but I'm still working on these two. Uh, when is this truce offer anyway? April 1499. So I got one year. I mean, I could have sat on Sina for a year. Oh well, they're helping me make money right now, so that's kind of nice. Lucker is no longer a silver card now. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, right-click on this. Okay, I can't declare one on you, but you have absolutely no allies now, so that's good. Let's hope it stays that way. Because I've forced you to not ally Venice. Our truce is when? Because I want to attack you the moment truce is over. Uh, truce. Truce with Lucker. 1513. So, it's only five years. It's pretty short, all things considered. Uh, so just sit here. The moment truce is over, I'm simply going to go down and wipe the army out and we can simply siege them out. Uh, is you guys gone yet? Eh, nearly. Basically gone, as I'm pause. The knee separatists will be rising up at some point, maybe. Hopefully not. Okay, everything is looking good. Oh. You're looking... Pretty sad over there, uh, Milan. Hmm. Sorry, Milan, but uh, I kind of had to do that. Hmm. Yeah. Am I threatened by you? No? Okay, well. 
Oh, seriously? You did not 33% stronger than me? I'm threatened by France, though, so that's good. I'm threatened by Austria. Who do you guys like? Oh, you hate. Ottomans. Can I be threatened by the Ottomans? No, I can't. Can I be threatened by Bohemia? No, I can't. Basically, if you mark yourself to be threatened by one of their rivals, uh, they're more likely to ally you. Plus 10, I think. Which is quite significant. How's the alliance with o o uh, Hungary happening, to be honest? Oh well. Who else can I try to get alliances? Urbino is free. Oh, that's interesting. Urbino is free. I could ally them. And try to vassalize them. But. They don't want to be my vassal. Still. I guess a peace deal must have um, forced Papal State to annul uh, the vassalization of Urbino. Either that or a forced Papal State to uh, release Urbino. That's probably more likely, actually. They've rivaled Siena. Oh, that's great, because I hate Siena too. Alliance with you? I mean, I'm kind of desperate, so yes, I'll take the alliance with Urbino. As pathetic as that sounds. Okay. I mean, one problem is minor. Don't underestimate them. They still bring roughly uh, 8k troops to the table, or even 11k troops. I mean, look at Augsburg. They have how many development? 18 development. Urbino has 12, and Salzburg has 17, and they have like 10k, 11k. So he'll bring probably like 8k troops to the table. It's pretty decent. Don't look at these one problem is minors and just think of them as a joke. Okay, Provence is still owned by the Pope, so that's probably a good thing. It means the French don't have it, because trying to get off the French would be almost impossible. Uh, diplomat there died. That's not good because he was increasing um, our rate of losing. That sounds weird. Increasing the rate of losing aggressive expansion. I think that makes sense though. Sounds weird. Uh, we have clergy we can do stuff with. Also, uh, generous, generous relation. Let's do that and demands and diplo points. Uh, don't want to do anything with you. I can. No, I don't want to do anything with you either. What was I doing? I actually kind of forgot what I was doing. Hmm, Switzerland declared on Milan. Eh, Milan's no more. Let's try to get an alliance with Switzerland, maybe. Bavaria is really our ally. Bavaria did really good at war, I like it. He was <laughs> surprisingly helpful. It's probably a good way of putting it. Let's just turn maintenance lower. Uh, Monopoly company founded. Uh, crowns often granted trading companies the exclusive rights to traffic goods in the region. These monopolies were granted in exchange for a lump sum payment and containing revenues from the traders. Uh, let's just demand payment in full. I can't remember which one you're supposed to do, to be honest, but whatever. Money is nice. Well, to be honest, I really should be going for Diplo Power. I mean, I do a Diplo idea right now. No, I'm not. Am I like, with hard Diplo Tech? No, I'm not. <laughs> hmm, never mind. Uh, am I. About to take tech. Nope, seven years. So let's go ahead and get increased prestige from battles. And then we can get faster siege. That'd be kind of nice as well. And soon we can try to take over the rest of Tunis. And then we can set sights on Thlemsen. How's the autonomy looking here? Pretty terrible. Uh, okay, we've maxed our relations with Austria. For all that's worth. Is Genoa still my rival? Hmm. I could give one of them as my rival. And that will increase the score by 50. But that's nowhere near enough. I don't like it. They also increase the Austria has too much diplomatic relations penalty as well. I mean, which is fair enough. They have, what, Hungary, England, Platinate, Trier, Genoa, and Savoy is their... Um, is their allies, which is kind of insane. Uh, Bohemia is, wow, Bohemia is on fire. There's no way Bohemia want to be my friend though. I'm just too weak for people to consider me as a good friend. That's a problem. Or a viable friend, or a viable ally is probably a bad term. I mean, look, I didn't betray Milan after all. I actually got a penalty for that. But by the way, Mantua exists now. Hmm, that's interesting. Unfortunately, Hungary is allied to them, but I can possibly get around that. 
Oh wait, Mantua has always existed. What am I thinking? Mantua uh, wasn't actually removed or anything, was it? I just don't think they were. Cologne declared war on Cleves, okay. I'm kind of mixing up my campaigns, that's why uh, I'm saying weird things sometimes. Uh, what's this? Okay, Friesland. Whatever. Have my military access. I don't care. Also, we have these two forts here. Do I want to keep both forts? Is the Japanese fort really useful? I guess it is. It kind of is, because it covers all access from the north. Sort of. I mean, if they have access through Savoy, if Savoy decides to attack me, they can go to Laka anyway. I think. If you know they can't, they have to go to either Modena or Genoa. In a way, this fort's serving no purpose, but it is on a hill, I kind of like it, so I'm going to keep it. Lithuania has taken Bessarabia and Tinga, Tegina, sorry, to Lithuania. So Moldavia still exists. Okay. I'm surprised he didn't just finish them off, but okay, whatever. Theodoro surprisingly ate a bit of uh, Crimea. Prescription resisted. Okay. Doesn't mean anything. Uh, we can send Amistry to Pope for more Pope points. Uh, sure, Tunity can build a spy network. Grand Generalship is expire, which means I can get another general. Let's do that. How good is my new general? Not bad at all. He even has one siege. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to raise maintenance. We're going to prepare going to war. April. So which means two months' time. In fact, I should have uh, done this a little earlier, but oh well, it's fine. We've su successfully converted a Keef. Let's go and convert. Okay, all of this is Catholic already, so let's go and convert Gadames. I'll turn this fall on. Okay, uh, I'm gonna wait one more month for morale to recover first. Do you still have a Trudel Tunis? Yes, you do, so you can't interfere with this. And by interfere, I mean just steal provinces from me, because I've got to annex the entirety of Tunis. Yes, you watch. By the way, Mom, looks. are you still at war? Yes, you are. You're being the crap out of uh, the Mercuria and the Ethiopians now. I kind of feel sorry for them. Ottomans, truce won't expire for another eight years. Okay, well, let's declare war. Uh, whoops. You have no allies, you have no friends. Uh, we'll make the war go... Sfax. Not that it really matters too much. Go, just take that out. Uh, I don't really need to have two armies attacking at the same time, but why not? You arrive down 12th of May. Let's just minimize casualties where we can. Uh, that said, I may as well have people go out. Um, okay. You go there. You go there. You go there. You go there. Uh, actually, you don't go there. Okay, rest of you. Okay, well, some of you go onto the island. Okay, have a cannon go onto your island. It's a pretty good idea. Uh, the cannon doesn't need their leader for now. I have you guys. Ah, heck, 11k is plenty enough. I would have all you guys go there to the island. Uh, so speaking of which, I believe this general is a bad general, right? Uh, not you. Oh, I've really unassigned them. Okay, let's compare. You have 2-3-2, two, two, you have one fourth. How oh, yes. Okay. Okay, so everyone has things to do. Let's just go ahead and kill. I guess I might as well have a general assigned here to reduce attrition. Uh, I'm also going to fire a general because right now we have too many military leaders. We only allowed three. So uh, I'm going to fire this worth as 1100. And speed the game up a little bit. Fortunate siege, yes, I know. We're curious about a piece of Mamluks. Just give money, so that's a pretty uh, waste of time war, but <laughs> I guess we'll try to take advantage of the situation. It's fair enough. I can understand that. Completely annihilating the Tunisian army. Uh, they are still alive though. Uh, let's go finish them off. Oh wow, that's actually enough to start sieging? Five people? Oh, because garrison's zero, that's why. <laughs> I never noticed that. Okay, nice stack wipe. Uh, I only need one person here in that case. The rest of you come here and you guys go here and here. Nice and easy war. I can turn this fort off again. Don't need it. Uh, we already accept Tunisian, do we not? Yes, we do. In fact, they make up 44% of our, all our development, which is hilarious. Uh, Culture-wise, it is. Uh, Siege of Jurba is over. Cool. 
It's actually an achievement tied to the Tunisian area. I think like something Des Carthago or something like that, which is basically referring to. Uh, okay, Lucker occupied, whatever, whatever, it's fine. So an alliance is over, which means it's easier to get alliances now because that was a negative to our diplomatic reputation. Hungary is still a negative 20 though. I just don't see that working out for me. France is never going to be our ally, not anytime soon. Ooh, France is allied to luck and rival of Venice. If that wasn't the case, we're actually awfully close, France. Hey, France. We could be best of buddies if I didn't rival Venice. That's interesting. That's what you call an opportunity I could try and exploit. Hmm. Oh well, uh, let's speed the game up a little bit for now. We have one free diplomat. Um, can't really do much with them. I can self fabricate more Thlamps, I suppose. Yeah, let's do that. Are they my rival? They are my rival. Good. Too bad I didn't set Tunis my rival. In fact, what I should have done there, I think, was got rid of Genoa. Because they're not worthwhile as a rival anymore, and it would have been worth paying 100 dip just to get Tunis my rival. Just before I did that. So that's really dumb of me. Hey, Milan, want to be my friend again? No, you don't. Fair enough. Fair enough. Saxony need to clear one. Magdeburg. Let's wait for this to be over. You guys, just me back up. On Tatooine. Okay, Cedar of Suffolk is over. Uh, whatever, I don't need that spy network anyway. It's not important. <laughs> Navy's under attack, that's fine. Five days, come on. Okay. Give me that, 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 and that. Samson hates me. Tell someone who cares. By the way, please cancel all of these calls. Well, I mean, what I could do is vassalize you and do a reconquest against Slamson, but... No, let's just do this. So, what am I doing? No, no, no. Let's not attack Slamson yet. Yet, I say. Okay, so you won't exist anymore. Is that full annex? That's full annex. Uh, this cost is gonna give me 45% over extension. That's fine. 36 uh, diplo points. That's fine. It'll cost me 460 admin points thanks to increased coring costs, which is not lovely, but... We'll just have to deal with it. So let's go ahead and send that peace offer. Wait, what? Oh, let's revoke all your cores. I don't think it makes a difference because I'm pretty sure Thamson also has, yep, they also have Berber traditions. Because what you often want to do with someone who has hostile core creation costs is that you want to revoke as much cores as possible, but it doesn't help that the current owner also has uh, increased coring costs. And I think these areas, the default culture did also has increased coring costs. I think this entire region has it, so it's actually kind of terrible. This what makes this part of North Africa, the Berbers culture, is really annoying to conquer. But either way, we're beggars can't be choosers, and we don't really have a choice here. This little one province here will be kind of out of the way. I don't like it, but we may as well conquer the region because we can. It's better than leaving them alive just so they can coalition on us later. So we take everything. The Lucan conquest of the Fox, which totally didn't just completely annihilate them. Uh, let's go ahead and call everything. We basically have no war structure to speak of, so whatever. Everyone, regroup at Tunis itself. I'm going to delete this fort. I mean, I could take advantage of that fort by trapping armies on it, but... I maybe I shouldn't have done that in that case. Because that is actually a really tempting army trapping position, but no. If I want to have a fort, I'd much rather have an attack to Wayne than on Jerba, because it completely blocks off all access between these two areas. I might actually build a fort there, but no, I won't. I'm not going to do it. Do I want to make any more states here? 19 development, 11 development, uh, Tripoli. I want to make Tripoli a state if possible. But Tripoli is such a terrible state. There's absolutely no development on it. The only reason why I want to make it a state is because of the cost of central trade. But I don't think making it a state changes that. It's going to give me the same amount of trade power bonus regardless of whether or not it's a state. So... I guess if I want to make a state, it's probably better to make this a state. It's not a great state, mind you, but... It, I mean, 19 is better than 11, which is better than uh, 6. Jesus. Fazan. 
Ah, <sighs> that sounds so terrible. And I made third estate, I mean, sure, but... 3, 6, that's 9, uh, 12, that's pretty <laughs> terrible as well. Oh well. What's our force limit now? 22. Okay, so we can build 3 more troops, and I think I will. 3 infantry, maybe? Or should I build 3 cannons? No, I think 3 infantry is probably more useful. I could build 3 cav, maybe. Do we have any more cav? We have no cav whatsoever. But that said, what's our ideas right now? And what's our ideas in the future? Because that'll be important. Because cav are better at this point in the game. Our tech level currently is at 8. Um, firepower, that is mostly from infantry and cannons, won't really be, become relevant until tech 13 is the number I often hear quoted. Uh, and because that's basically where you get a massive cannon rank, rank bonus. Hmm. Let's build one calf. So, we own a decent chunk of North Africa, which is kind of nice. Let's look towards possibly facing Thempson next, uh, next. If I can talk. Unfortunately, I don't want to face Morocco at the same time, unless I can get Castile, or France, or anyone who can fight around here on my side. I definitely don't want to fight Thempson and Morocco at the same time. Morocco has an army of 33,000. Uh, Thempson has an army of... 24,000. So I can probably take on Thempson, but I can't take on Morocco. Morocco's is too much. So I guess... We just wait until the Ottomans come knocking on Mamlukian uh, doorstep again, I guess. Hmm. I'm not going to turn it into a state, thank you very much. Austria. Oh, thanks, Lemson. That thing actually causes devastation now, so it's actually really annoying. I think what I'm going to do is have you guys split up. You are going to hunt pirates in Tunis. Uh, you guys are going to hunt pirates in Genoa, and my one bark is going to go protect trade in hmm. Genoa, Tunis, Genoa, Tunis. To go protect no, trade in Tunis, and I'm going to build a few more barks because I can. Let's build up to ten barks. That'll be good. I'm going to get to get out of Tunis. And we still have to look towards what we can possibly do in Europe. The problem is, if we look at ex expansion, right now, everything is looking pretty red. Uh, so I guess what we can do is wait for the next milestone, which is really this truce expiring. I can't really see us doing anything else until then. Ben is still out to France. I could not get rid of that alliance, which is a damn shame. Because if I could get rid of that alliance, France wouldn't care that, uh, they out that I'm allied. No, that Ben's my rival. That's really annoying. Yeah, that's not going to happen. <sighs> I just don't see who I can possibly look for for allies. I don't, I don't want the one problem smile. I mean, yes, I just said that they're not bad. And although Urbina looks pretty terrible. Wow, they only have three troops. I don't like that. <laughs> it makes them a, kind of a terrible ally. And they don't want to be my vassal either. I'm going to turn maintenance down. I wonder, does anyone have claims on me? Genoa, Lucca, and Milan. Milan's not going to attack me, I think. I don't really see... Okay, Austria has a claim on me. I believe Austria has a claim on this because it was Imperial territory. Oh, Savoy insulted us. Well, that's lovely. Boy, I want to be threatened by you, but I can't be set to threaten by you. How much development do we even have? 235. A decent chunk, actually. We can almost stand on our own two feet at this point. Almost, but not quite. Uh, I just don't know who I can possibly look for for an, uh, for an ally. This is actually really tough. There's no natural allies around here anymore. Sweden declare war on Denmark. Conquest. Huh. Denmark isn't looking too good. Attacker against Genoa. Muscovy conquest of Azov. What? Who the heck is Genoa allied to? So, wait, attack against Genoa. So, 
your war with Genoa, Aust oh, I see, Austria, Mantua, and Utrecht. That makes sense. So Austria marched up and just took over most of the mainland uh, Denmark. Well, Denmark cares because Schauland, which is the capital, is on an island. And unless it can get naval superiority, which not many people can get naval superiority up there, it can maybe the Swedes, um, they can't get to Denmark's capital. We can attack Venice now, which is awesome because they're totally not allied to France. Yeah. Huh, <laughs> Papal State will join. That's funny. Nobility demands stricter scumptress laws. What do you want? So either I make you hate me and lose some influence, or you gain influence. I can't actually have you gaining influence because you're over 80, so I have to refuse to obey you. Which means you're kind of upset with me. Ah oh well, that's fine. Saxony is after a piece of Hess. You guys are doing things, right? Okay, yes you are. Good. Just making sure. Because you guys look like you're standing around doing nothing. Okay, well... Back to looking for allies. Okay, let's look through this again. I, I know I keep doing this, but I have to. Because I need another ally. Someone who can stand up for me. Ansbach has two provinces. Uh, Verdun. Hungary really does look like the most viable ally right now, but at the same time I know they're not. They're just too far out. They're just too far ahead. It's too hard to get. Why does it keep going back? Election time, okay. Well, naturally. Sestra Baberni, you get to stay in office, naturally. Monster, that's planet. It just keeps changing back to the map mode where it tells you who is going to be your ally, but it's not very useful right now. Wow, mom looks actually surprisingly not that far off. That's funny. A new pope. Also, someone fabricated a claim on me. You see you? Mantua did. Eh. Hungry won't join, you say? Why don't I have a spy network on you? I mean, why don't I have a claim on you? Hungary won't join. Why won't Hungary join? That's fascinating. Because I would love to have Mantua, thank you very much. It's a beautiful province. It's unfortunately um, in the Venetian tr region. Hungary declared war on Moldavia. Why won't Hungary join? Well, I need someone back for this. Is this nearly over? Yep, it's nearly over, and yep, no one here. So you can come back home. I guess it's way for the month to take over. Sweet, come home. If I were to clear today, Saina and Genoa. Okay, so Saina decided to be your friend, huh? Well, Hungary won't join because of debt. That's quite a lot of debt. I'm impressed, Hungary. What the hell did you do? Must be a war of the Ottomans or something. Also, I don't like the fact that Saina decided to. Uh, what do you call it? Ally them. I mean, I'm probably still better off just waiting for this truce to be over. 1513. Wait. 1513? We have another 13 years? Oh wow, that is an insanely long truce. Okay, I can shorten that truce. Okay, so I'm going to strip all these troops home, unless the, the situation is bad. Which it kind of is. They're going to rise up in 1.6 years. How much big of an army do I have a need for this? Probably not that big. Okay, I'm, how big is the rebellion army? 28,000. That's impressive. That actually is quite impressive. 28,000 Tunisians are going to rise up against me. Oh boy, I don't want to fight 28,000 Tunisians. Can I make my army bigger? No, I can't. This is my limit. Well, that's not good, is it? Well, Ottomans to kill one Genoa. So me Mantua is put into a war against the Ottomans? Yes, they are. And choose also in a war against Muscovy. That's interesting as well. Clergy to condemn the philosopher as heretic. So I support the clergy or the philosopher. Either way, I lose one stability. Okay, so pretty much I choose either I gain loyalty from clergy or I lose it. If I gain it, then I increase my tech costs, but increase mystery strength, which is actually fine. I quite like that. Let's do that. I don't like the fact that we're losing stability, but it can't be helped. 
But yeah, Manchuria looks like a very tempting target as long as Hungary stays in massive debt. I can take on Zion, I can take on Genoa. Genoa right now is in a very sad state, and Genoa is under attack by the Ottomans of all people, so... Yeah, you know, there is that. And Austria is now at war with the Ottomans as well. So Ottomans are at war with Austria, Manchuria, England, and Genoa. So Austria is very much distracted now. When is this truce over? 1506, a long time away. So I can't try to take your last two provinces, but I can try to take Manchuria. And I can also shorten the, the truce with Syena. What does worry me though is this. You know what I could do is let them rebel and... Okay, that's not very really good. That's not very really useful, but if I look at this... Oh, actually never mind, because none of these are Tunisian cores anymore, so they're not going to go to, to these lands anymore. Whoops. That actually would have been a good reason not to uh, force Tunis to revoke those claims. Oh well, I mean, it did give me presti positive prestige again, so there is that, but... Yeah, that was actually a very good reason not to do that. Oh well. I think I just have this fort on, and I'll go deal with the situation as soon as I can. I just need to... Utrecht will be forced to give Muscovy money. Sure. Just need to wait for this experiment network to be complete. I need Hungary to stay busy. Who are you fighting against? This Moldavia. Magdeburg and Peter Saxony. Okay, that's maxed out. No friendship. Awfully close. Like, if we were allowed to do royal marriages... Okay, they're also a republic, so that's also out of question. But if we were allowed to do royal marriages, that, I think, is actually almost enough. I just need to hire a diplomat rep guy, which... Why do I have no one here? Okay, I'm gonna hire improved relations over time. Uh, Cologne wants military access, sure. In fact, you're fighting Venice, definitely, sure. Defend against Cologne. I hope they cancel this, otherwise I can never attack Venice. Okay, Dames is now converted over to Catholicism. So, let's go and convert Fazan. And I think, let's just cut off here. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time for more of Lucky Lucker. Until then, see you later.